Christians. Now, what do we think about that? Some Christians are sort of still bound to a rather myopic view. Uh, so Stephen Hawking is not totally wrong about this, that human beings really are the centre of God's attention. In fact, Thomas Aquinas did so. It was one of his mistakes. But of course, it's not true that human beings are the centre of God's attention. We are one planet in a solar system which is one of a thousand million solar systems in our galaxy, the Milky Way, which is one of a thousand million galaxies in the observable universe, which is one of how, who knows how many universes that God has brought into being. So human beings are a tiny part of the universe. There is no reason we should be the center of God's purposes. And I think we should abandon that notion altogether. We should say we are not especially important to God. Of course, everything is important to God. Every sparrow, every electron, I suppose, is important to God, and God rejoices in it because of its beauty and because of what it is. So God does love us, God does rejoice in us, but not more than other planets, not more than other sorts of beings, not even more than cats and dogs. Why should God love you more than a nice, fluffy cat? <laughs> no reason at all, really. So... Uh, I think we ought to abandon, explicitly abandon the view that humans are what God is interested in and that humans are something utterly special. They're not. If you read the Bible, it doesn't even suggest that they are really. Human beings are lower than the angels. I mean, the, you know, in the medieval view, there were thousands of millions of angels, all higher than human beings. We don't have to be the highest thing in the universe. The shock was that Jesus became human. I mean, the shock was to descend to something so low, not to, not to actually be something very exalted. We're not exalted at all. We're little lumps of DNA which have grown brains and become conscious. We're at a very early stage in evolution. So this is the Theologian thought, and this is why the church told me to keep quiet for a while, because he said, no, humans are not God's ultimate aim. God's ultimate aim is something far beyond us, but we are parts of the process towards that goal. And more than that, we ourselves, in all our primitiveness, will be able to share in that goal. Because Terre did share the Christian belief in immortality, we shall be resurrected by God, to share in the, and to see the meaning of that whole process towards beings far greater than us, but who will be our descendants? And to say, I see my place now. After all, we're all like this in the world, aren't we? We have a particular place in the world. And we say, I'm not the best person in the world. That, uh, that's not the thing. Uh, but it would be nice if I could see my place in the world. Did I do anything that was any use to anybody? Did I have a role in, in the world? And the answer was, yes. One of the things about life in the world beyond this is that we shall see what our role was and what we did. If it's bad, that's judgment. But if it's good, that will be included in the delights of paradise. And so, as each of us can say that about ourselves, so the human race can say it about itself. Homo sapiens, yes, did some good things, but it doesn't have to be the only good thing or the best thing possible in the universe. We just have, to have a role in the history of the universe. So I think that's perfectly consistent. In fact, Jesus said, if you want to be the greatest, you must serve, you must be the least. Pride is the greatest of vices. So don't be proud about being human. Just say, okay, uh, I'm human. But don't say humans have no value either. That would be wrong. Of course, humans have a value. You just got to say, God values the whole of creation, not just human beings. The thing about human beings, and the thing about Jesus being human, is that on this planet, anyway, only human beings can know consciously the unity of human and divine, which is our ultimate calling, and the ultimate calling of the whole universe.